Hi everyone and welcome back to a brand new quick tip by Janus Engineering. Today we will show you two things. The first one is how to create an associative measurement and the second point is how to use it. Well, let me explain first my scenario in here. As you see, my part in here is clamped in a vise. I clamped the part by using some constraints in it. When I make a double click into this constraint in here, I see that I have a distance for my, uh, let's call it X uh, face of zero millimeters. When I change it to minus 20 millimeters, we see that the part is now moving accordingly by 20 millimeters to the left and the PMI is also changing accordingly. So let me switch it back to zero millimeters. There we go. And now I have a condition and the condition is as followed. If the part is less than 150 millimeters long, the stop has to be zero millimeters. Otherwise, the stop has to change automatically to minus 20 millimeters. So how can I achieve that? First of all, I have to add a, 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 an associative measurement. For that, I'm going to analysis, measure. I'm selecting the first phase and the second one on the opposite side. As we now can see, the minimum distance in here is 106 millimeters of the part. And to save that measurement, to have it associative, I simply have to click on that icon in here. And I also would like to see the measurement always. So therefore I will click on that eye icon. When I click on the OK icon in here, I now see that the measurement is still in place. And within the part navigator, I also see a measurement that's being um, added in here. When I switch into my tools and then go into my expressions, I also see that the measurement got a, an own expression. For now, I will change the name of it into part length, like so, and click on the OK icon. So there we go. Now, as we do have the distance of the part, I want to um, connect my constraint to the distance. How can I do that? First of all, I will return right into the uh, constraint. And down here, where I previously put in the minus 20 millimeter by hand, I also can add a formula instead. So when I click on that, I'm returning to my expressions. And in here, I see a new variable got um, added and it's now waiting for the formula. And the formula shall be if the part length is less than 150, then the value shall be zero millimeter, else it shall be minus 20. Simply like that. I will hit the enter key. And when I click on OK now, I see that the distance is now fade in gray. I cannot change it because the formula is being used. And when I um, hover with the mouse above it, I also see the formula. It says if the part length is less than 150, then zero, otherwise minus 20 millimeters. Nice. So let's click on OK now. And now we can start to play around with it a little bit. When I return to my part navigator, I will give the part length an offset now of, let's say, 70 millimeters or so. And when I click on OK now, we see that the associative measurement is being updated accordingly. And also the stop of minus 20 millimeters is taking place in here. We also can double check it by simply returning to my constraint in here, make a double click, and we see that the value of minus 20 millimeters is set in here. That's it. Thank you for your attention. I hope you can work out with that solutions in any way that you want to do. And if you do have some suggestions on where to use those features and functions, please let us know in the comments below. And also we always appreciate a like and a subscription of you guys. Have a good one, take care and see you next time. Bye.